University of Sussex, its history and its attitude, I think, is something that really appealed to me. It's known for a uh, left field vision. It's, it's been known for being able to think outside the box. Uh, and I think that, that makes Sussex uh, pretty unique. Well, I kind of knew that Brighton had such a good atmosphere and it was really vibrant. And um, I came here on an open day and I was just also so impressed with all the lecturers. It's daunting when you're coming to university, but it's nice just to have everything together. It's really good how it's like a student village community environment. You settle in really quickly. The university were really flexible in my first year and like all my tutors were really helpful, helping me work out what I wanted to do. Second year onwards I got to choose like the majority of my modules and got to do like exactly what I wanted to do. I've done history courses, politics courses. Yeah. And also yeah you get like a variety of different lecturers. Yeah and it's always really easy if you want to talk to your tutor you can just send them an email and they've got office hours as well so you can yeah. go and see them. Yeah and on Study Direct which is an online resource where you can access lecture notes and your readings, especially if you've missed them, yeah. it's really helpful. I think. Oh, yeah, all the resources seem to be online, so you know, good to have it all really accessible. Oh yeah, I did the dissertation dash this year, which is when you hand in your work, like within the last hour. Yeah, like everyone that's already handed theirs in comes out to watch. You can spot the people like running across campus and everyone's cheering for them. Don't you think the best thing about being here is the location? You've got the seaside, you've got the Sussex Downs, where the campus is situated and the train station's just practically on campus. Then we've got 24-hour buses. Uh, memories of those night buses in first year. <laughs> it's like hordes of students going in and out fighting. And the pier as well, obviously, is really good fun. It's so nice, just if it's a hot, sunny day, just to go and hang out on the beach. It's really good to have that chance to just sit in the sunshine with your laptop, use the Wi-Fi. It's good being uh, close to London as well. Oh you know, yeah, easy, I go there all the time. Go. In fact, I'm going up there tomorrow. And it's really good as well. You can go on a stay out and yeah. you know check out some galleries. Yeah, I mean, it's basically just like living sort of on the outskirts exactly. of London. I mean, everyone commutes. It's 10% student population. Yeah. And even the people that live here in general are just really liberal and open-minded. I mean, Brighton's known for that really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. We were having a party and like five o'clock in the morning, our neighbour came round and joined in. <laughs> and like, been really good mates with him ever since. <laughs> I joined so many societies, like there were so many interesting ones. Like, I did salsa and I joined circus club and we learned how to do like poi and stuff like that. The Neighbours one, that's the most random. They just go to East Slope and watch episodes of Neighbours. <laughs> yeah, I um, joined Project V in Freshers Week as well, which is where you can like volunteer on loads of different projects. It's like really good for your CV and really good experience. I work in the children's hospital every week. But they also have ones like teaching adult literacy. They have like gardening and farming ones as well, I think. I'm actually going to be applying for an internship on campus. It starts in August in one of the main departments. But I'm also thinking of doing a master's. Yeah, I'm going to do a master's as well because I um, couldn't handle leaving Brighton. So I'm <laughs> going to be here for another year. I think everyone's sort of feeling, you know, a few nerves about being up on stage, but, you know, it's good having your moment on stage, you know, everyone applauding you and, uh, you know, finally the culmination of your uh, three years hard work. It was a really nice mix of ceremony, but also celebration, just a really nice occasion. Yeah, definitely sad to be leaving. It's been great fun. It's been a great uni and, uh, you know, kind of take, take a lot of good memories away from it.